hello guys hello so we are back with another live stream and um, so earlier the previous live stream was uh, the silent stream and so today uh, i have turned on my microphone and uh, just just want to give you a brief uh, recap that what I, I did in the previous live stream so previously uh, when the topic for the live stream is that we will be building a visual studio code extension and uh, there's a project called maker log where we can log the stuff we do maybe uh, we, maybe we have created a footer for our website so we can log that thing on the maker log by creating an account and all the stuff so the project is kind of cool so i have been using for a couple of months so i really like it so i thought just to create an extension um, for yes code so i'm doing doing that and we have created a bunch of things and we have made a lot of good progress and this is the code uh, so uh, once i am uh, uh, once i have laid out the basic concept that whatever the basic functionality we need so the basic functionality need we need an input uh, so that the user can input the content they want maybe uh, they want to add a message so they should be able to add that in the make a lot i mean in the input let me just show you like what i mean okay so uh the for example when we uh, when you are new to uh, make uh new to this extension you will first install, uh, install the extension and there is a command uh, maker log uh, and you can hit enter uh, first of all the extension will activate and then uh, you can what type whatever uh, message you want to type maybe uh, you can type uh, fixed uh had uh, footer in my website so whatever message you can type uh, it's very easy so after then you can hit enter and then there will be an option and so over here you can select that uh, so like it's the, as i told you that maker log has this option where you can uh, set a to do that make a to do which you will do in future or you can uh, set uh, status as doing that you are doing a specific task and third the option is done that you have done a task so uh, so i think the current apis uh, they provide the uh, the parameter is only that you can add option as done or i mean done or not so we don't have any third option so we will go by two option only that uh, uh, that the the to do is done or not so that's why uh, there is just done and the to do so we could just click done and uh, then uh, uh, it will send a request to the maker log website and then uh, it will add the the maker log the status you, uh, the to do which you have added it will add it to your account so that part uh, i need to do right now so i will just show you like what it did okay so over here you can see the message we typed is over here the status is over here and after then uh, all the data we have collected is in uh, kind of a and json object which we will send that json object as a post request uh, to the webhook so the only the part the primary part which is left uh, for this extension to work is this uh, over here uh, this code is left to work on it i mean uh, like I, as i just show you like uh, all the procedure how it works now i only need to work on this thing where it uh, set a post request to the webhook let's see So first of all, we have created a new instance of the of the XML HTTP request, and it is over here. There it is. Uh, wait a second. Where is the request which I have created? Okay, yeah, here it is. Yeah. So here it is, and after then we are adding an event listener yeah that it will load 
and then uh, it will listen to the request and then it will uh, open the request and post it to the webhook and we are passing the webhook as a parameter uh, in this function and then we are sending the request in a JSON format uh, and here is the JSON format the content uh, again we are passing it as a parameter and then the status uh, we are passing it as a parameter I still need to work on the status also that it should only uh, return a boolean value or make a true or false so currently it is just returning a string uh, that it is a, a done or a to do so we need to work on that Uh, but still it is not working I mean it is uh, showing an error that expected five arguments but got two like I'm not sure like uh, what kind of argument it is saying like what are the arguments do we need to pass it only is saying that uh, we need to uh, send the request type and the URL itself We are also uh, setting the request header to uh, JSON. Like I'm not sure uh, if that's required, but over here it is not even mentioned properly that like in which, which format it, it accepts. Like it is only showing that uh, it's a parameter with the content as a string. It is required, and the description is the content of the log to the post, and then the parameter is the, which is done. Uh, we have status and then it should be boolean which is also required and then it will return the value uh, which will be the content as a string itself whatever the the content uh, the message we have passed it will return and then uh, the, st the status and the timestamp But I like I'm not sure like why it is not working. It is saying that we need five arguments, but where? It's a post request, okay, and we are passing the webhook URL. Okay, so let's try. Let's see what happens. At least it should work or uh, it should output some kind of an error. So here's the, the webhook URL. So it works simply like as any other uh, extension VS Code uh, where we have a bunch of settings. Uh, the first setting is not very important but the second is important. Uh, here is the webhook uh, URL uh, which you can send it easily uh, just going to the website so I'll first of all reload the window uh, that we, uh, see, since I made few modification to the to the code that's why I need to reload the window okay now I will uh, try again let's start logging I will, uh, so after uh, executing this uh, command it will activate the extension and then it will prompt uh, input where we need to uh, add the message itself it will also uh, show a message that the make log extension is active so here we will add a message uh, we can add everything is cool yeah 
so we have got the message and now we need to see uh, decide that it, that this message is a, what kind of message it is like it's a, a to do or the or it is a, the the message is it done or not so i'll say we need to do it let's see what message do we got to do is not a valid boolean okay makes sense okay so i think it is uh, sending the request makes sense yeah uh, but uh, okay 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 i think it's working but uh, we need, let me just open my account and let's see what happens over there also so if this is working then uh, i need to only just work on the the boolean part just to make it work properly that's nice I will just open my profile. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. I will share the link over here also, so you can uh, <coughs> see it uh, in, in live. So now it is uh, not showing anything yet. Uh, so I think once we fix this uh, status thingy, it should work. Uh, let me just check the docs again. What does it say? So it say uh, it should be a boolean. Uh, I mean true or false. So we can define that. Uh, uh, maybe we can set true for the done and the false for the to do That is the only possible option we can get So here I will just use a switch statement And I will pass status and then uh, I will create a case where it will be uh, done and then it should return uh, true and then it should break the uh, this switch statement then there will be another case where it will be just a to do so if it will return then we don't need to break it here then it will return false okay so this should work I can quickly console log the value again just to make sure that it returns the value itself so I can just disable this for now and let's check it ok so I will just reload the window ok that's weird ok yeah it works now uh, we should activate the extension first the extension is taking a lot of time to load I, I don't know why ok so it's finally loaded and now we need to type hello world Okay, so we should type a descriptive message now because we are just close to uh, make this extension work. Hello world from maker log vs code extension. Yeah, this message looks good. Okay, so I will try done, and now it should.
get paired uh, <coughs> so first of all uh, we did the idea extension is activated okay we are getting that yeah then we are console logging the content itself okay then we are passing the content to the show information message okay then we are console logging the status but uh, we are console logging it twice but it didn't work second time yeah it didn't work second time Uh, I think I need to use a variable. Okay, so I can just do uh, content. Okay, I can do without uh, that content status. So okay, then content status will be true. Okay, so we can just return that value over here, and over here it will be false. Okay, and then we can console log that value content status. By the way, I need to think of a descriptive name. I mean, content status doesn't uh, explain that uh, that it's a boolean value or not. Okay, we will just reload the the extension again. Okay, so let's <clears throat> let's uh, test the uh, extension. Uh, I'm not sure like why it is outputting this message. Which my I okay, so the extension is activated. That's nice. Uh, I also need to create a use case. For example, the extension is activated, and that time we just only want to prompt this input message. So in that case also, uh, because we cannot just uh, activate the extension again and again, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so I'll just hit uh, done and let's see what we get. Uh, we are still not getting the status that's weird why it is not working we are console logging the value status I think the problem is over here in the case statement that is it is not able to understand the let me check the case statement is it correct or not I mean the switch statement JavaScript switch statement. By the way, guys, let me know. Like, uh, is the live stream okay? I mean, uh, I don't want to just bore you with my voice. Uh, I also want you to enjoy the background music. So, just let me know. I will just uh, tweak the sound. Uh, 
okay we need to pass an expression mm -hmm. so we have passed the expression as status and then it uh, matches the status with a case statement Uh, is there any way just to define uh, some kind of a, a variable over here itself that would be really nice let me check the docs show info message it's not working let me copy the name of the method okay we got the uh, vs code api that's nice that's nice okay we need to go to the window and let me just find it quickly okay here it is so we can find uh, pass message item as string and we then uh, the enable it is returned as a string we can also pass few options Indicates that the message should be model. What does it mean? Hmm. it is not executing this statement or maybe it is not uh, able to set it as equals to because ultimately it's just an emoji so I will just try to remove the emoji and let's see maybe the problem is with the emoji only okay so let's try now and because emoji use some kind of a different uh, uni uh, code uh, which renders the render on the view so it is possible that the emoji might be causing the problem so now it should work okay uh, the extension should activate yeah we have used that command so it should activate okay so the extension is activated and it should prompt with an input so like i, I like guys i just told you earlier that since we have uh, activated the extension and I th 
I think it didn't uh, prompt with the input. So we cannot just activate the extension again because that doesn't make any sense. So uh, let me see if there is any other command. I think I did make another command. Yeah. Okay, so that command didn't prompt. Okay, makes sense. Uh, I can work on this thing later on, uh, but the main part is to make it work that it just sent the message to to the website. Yeah, so what I can do instead uh, for the active function, I mean for the active function, I can use this command where it will run another function which will be the uh, this one make a log to do, I mean make a log input here, yeah, that would make more sense. Let me just quickly reload the window again. Now that's really strange now it's still not working which is really odd I was expecting it to work but it is not working why it is not working Uh, it should run the switch statement and then uh, do this all the stuff and then this ok so let me just try this yeah let's see what happens Come on, the extension needs to be activated now. Okay, nice. Okay, at 39, uh, it did return an undefined. Makes sense. So it means it is not running this. Part. Why it is asking a method uh, use URL? Okay, async user password. We don't have any username or password. I mean, we don't need that. I'm not sure because over here it is just asking the content and the 
the boolean itself since uh, the webhook is itself uh, classified i mean it's uh, specific to the account itself that we cannot share it with anyone so it should work okay so default is true okay so these are optional so means we uh, only need these two things okay so the problem is with this uh, switch statement only so let's go with the statement only now if this is not working if come on man status is equal to done then it should return this else <clears throat> so okay, let's make an uh, else if statement here if status is equals to to do then we can return this yeah so it's kind of same thing uh, but it should work at least now it is still undefined come on man what's wrong with you it's not working it is just duplication of code but well, this is not a best practice but since we don't have any choice i have to do it man i have to do it there is no other choice to do it hello My name is Yashu Mittal. What's your name? How are you? Oh yeah! Finally it worked. Nice, nice. Okay, so it is working inside an if statement. Hmm. I understand. Okay, so what if I just don't <coughs> return the value itself? <coughs> because, <coughs> sorry. So uh, we are just defining a variable over here as a cont as a let and content status. 
<clears throat> so this time it should work it should work I bet it should work So once this works, I just need to make the optimization to that part uh, where it uh, uh, where the active function uh, execute another function. So that will uh, just be more uh, you can say optimized way of writing code. Yeah, it worked. It worked. Yes. Finally, let's see. You saw that it really worked this time. I just need to refresh. Oh, wow! It worked. But I mean, that's weird. Why it is showing a uh, uh, earth sign it should show something like this i think i need to uh, talk with uh, with a guy who created this <laughs> i don't know the name of him but ultimately uh, the end goal is that it worked we can work on the part where it uh, where it uh, where we need to just decide that uh, like what should be the status of the message we can work on that part later on let me just test again okay so you know what let me just uh, make it more optimized since uh, it is working we just uh, get the value and yeah another thing that let me just uh, mark it as a to do uh, so after we get the data uh, we need to uh, show the status that uh, the to do has been posted to do uh, show status that the log has been posted uh, so by the way guys like uh, i just want to get a feedback that what do you think is a better way to show the status like most probably uh, uh, i mean most often you can say the status is shown at the status bar uh, which is uh, the goal is that that it should show over here all the status uh, or uh, maybe we can just uh, show status something like this over here uh, so what do you think guys uh, let me know in the chat Okay, so in the meantime, I need to optimize that part. So let me close this for a while. Hmm. So uh, over here, we are just activating the extension, and then we are doing all the stuff. Uh, we don't have to, uh, but we have to show that message, yeah. We have to show that message, yes, 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 yes. And after then, yeah, from here we need to uh, create a separate function. And so what uh, name should I give to this function? I'm really bad at giving names. Uh, so since we'll be using this as a function uh, yeah so we don't have to define it over here uh, we can create a new file uh, where we can define 
so we can just write log uh, log.js and over here yeah so all this code should uh, be thrown away here uh, now we are uh, okay uh, so over here I can see I'm importing specific components of the VS code package uh, I hope it works so I will just import a specific uh, components uh, okay window what else yeah only these two packages I am importing from VS code it should work voila uh, it's not showing any error that's nice nice now I also need to import the post log that, uh, that module over here okay nice I'm just refactoring the code now just to make it more simpler and easy to use I'll just remove all the comments we don't need these now oops need that now over here I will just add a function I also need to import the uh, yeah I need to import the log from require I have created a snippet for the constant let, let me check that snippets because I have separately created a snippet uh, because uh, where I'm just importing a module or a package I think it is in the global where it is where it is okay I see I see I see I got it so what's wrong with it so I haven't added the scope over here so that's the problem that's why it is not working now it should work so the prefix is uh, required now it should work now if I type require see it worked now I can add log and over here I can add log it worked perfectly I also need to export that module so this is a function and okay module dot exports log now so what parameters do we need we are importing the settings from here yeah we don't need that now and we are getting the content okay wait a second uh, yeah so the content is from it so I think we are not getting anything from here we are just executing that command yeah yeah we are just executing that command here so we don't need anything from there yeah this should work
so it is just an anonymous function yeah but we have to find it over here log so I can just move all the console log yeah we need console log just a second yeah that's fine uh, I still need to work on the I can add a review over here review work on the status name and by the way guys uh, I should uh, say that you should definitely use this comment anchor extension uh, it's really awesome and uh, there are just bunch of different uh, uh, you can see comments you can add for example you can add a to do just like I have added over here you can add fix me and there is uh, two more I don't remember their names uh, like I just uh, mostly use to do or fix me I hardly use a review and the best part is that uh, it uh, then it shows up over here again it's just in VS Code extension yeah okay yeah so it looks nice the content we are getting the content we are passing the content then you have the status yeah perfect perfect show the status that the login info state yeah okay the status so we can create a separate function for the status now I need to work on that where it is I will just ignore this uh, problem I mean the problem it is outputting for now because uh, the, as we have seen that uh, it's need uh, let me just pass that few uh, it needs username and password uh, which we, I think we don't need because uh, since the 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 webhook is itself classified, uh, not classified, you can say a secret plus uh, webhook which uh, don't need to be shared publicly, so that's why it doesn't need any user email password. Okay, let me open package.json. Uh, so here is the maker log input so when we run this uh, command it should also uh, wait a second uh, yeah it should also uh, run it so I can create a just a function So what does this uh, disposable mean? I think it's a part of the yes code only. Let me check that. Just a second. Yes code commands register command and then it is extension. dot make a log input then there will be a function and inside that function it will run this log so whenever we run that command make a log input or I, I also need to work on this name naming part so that time it should why it is showing an error expected that's it's correct so what's wrong with it okay yeah, so it just went away now let me check this uh, content subscription so we can just try it this way it is just exporting the active and deactivate module
this is but first of all let me just give it a try uh, okay i'll just give it a try and let's see if it works or not uh, because the, the changes we have made recently we need to make sure that it works and it doesn't crash the extension itself So first of all, I will just make sure that we have both the commands activate. So first of all, uh, we need to um, there is one problem that uh, so there is one problem with this command that uh, for new user it might not be a more user for new user friendly. Uh, that uh, they might not aware that there is a two command and which command to run when. Uh, uh, the extension is active or not so I need, still need to uh, I'm still new to this VS code extension creating thing so this is my first extension so I still need to uh, just review the docs like how it works okay so this time I will just try to run the second command where it directly try to get the input of for maker log okay so it's saying uh, this command not found uh, so yeah, we get something. We get I and mean, we get some error. We need to uh, work on this part also, where we improve the error logging functionality. Uh, so we, I will add another to do. Uh, improve the error logging functionality. Now we just copy this error command. Okay, so I'll just copy this error. Okay, so it makes sense. Improve the add logging functionality. I can just add this over here. Yeah. So this time I will now run the other command. Uh, this one. So which will. Okay, so now it, it has made the extension activate and now we type hello world from maker log bs code extension and so this time i will just do a done uh, so earlier we had tried with to do let's see uh, what error do we get or what results do we get Wow, it still worked perfectly this time. We get again uh, a results. Let's see our account. Wow, so this time also it logs the the content we have typed. You can see the extension is working perfectly. Uh, I think I need to just uh, tell him. Uh, uh, like, the the maker of this uh, website that uh, the the status part doesn't work properly yeah but otherwise uh, the extension is now fully functional uh, and i think i can just publish it right now i'm really excited okay so i'll just uh, i'll just no, i'll not remove this part i mean it's really exciting Because now we don't, I don't have to open the website. I can just uh, make a web request, and because uh, I use VS Code most of the time, so I can just directly log from there. It's really awesome. And another thing is that uh, we are getting a lot of data uh, in return, so we can also work on the data we want to display or. You don't have to display the data also because we don't need, need the avatar. Yeah, uh, there are a bunch of stuff we don't need. 
we don't even need the timestamp also i think we just need the status Uh, I'm not sure that uh, what type of error do we get in return. For example, uh, if the webhook is not able to make the post request in some situation, in that case, I need to work on that part. The error handling part is also very important. Okay, let me just uh, let me just try uh, running the other command. Let's see if it works. Since uh, now the uh, the extension is active, let's run the. Okay, perfect. So it now runs another command also, and, and very quickly also. So since the uh, the extension is itself uh, active, uh, I can just uh, run the command, and it pops in. Perfect. I will write another test from maker log vs code extension and I can hit done. Voila. And it should return some data. It's perfect. So I think I can just uh, just quickly publish this extension right now because the basic feature uh, which is required to build this extension are complete and you can see it still works another test on maker log so we definitely need a big thumbs up now because we have made a big improvement now that's nice you know what i'll just publish it right now i'm really excited now Okay, let's see what's the procedure to publish the extension. I also need uh, to initialize the gate also. Uh, I can, uh, I also need to maintain the documentation. I can do that part later on. It's not that much important. I can work on the features later on. We don't need that. Uh, release notes. I don't think uh, I should add it in the over here. Yeah, this looks fine. I can remove the maker of webhook JS. Yeah, we need that. We need. Do we need this part? Yeah, we need that. All. Yeah, extension will be this file to the extension uh, yeah I still need to work uh, learn like how to change lock over here let me just get a quick glance I also need to turn on my lights Okay, that looks nice. Keep a change lock. Okay.
so I will just release the version 0.0.1 initial release yeah just a simple message we have git ignore we yeah. are do we need test uh, i think it is already added in that get ignore okay it's not added do we need add that thing or not let me check it Okay, let's publish this extension. Uh, yeah, I think I should remove that part because it's st still not functional, so it's not a good idea to add it. Uh, okay, here it is. Once you have made a high quality extension you can publish it to the vs code extension marketplace okay yeah we need that so other could find yeah 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 okay you can yeah okay that's fine take topics yeah okay using vsce the cli tool for managing this code extension uh no i don't want this one packaging publishing and one uh, pack publishing extension Okay, a publisher is an entity who can publish extension to VS Code Marketplace. Every extension includes a publisher name and its type of JSON file. The name of the extension should all be in the lower case with no spaces. Okay, let me see. Okay, we have a name, a version. Yeah, okay, we have that. Publisher, the name of the publisher. We have any more publisher uh, engines and object contain at least uh, the VS code key matches the version of the VS code that's just very good. Cannot be or for example, yeah. okay. License, uh, there is a license. Well, license cannot be MIT because it's just an extension for that get Mikalov product. I need to see. Okay, I can just add uh, license MIT. Okay, we need a display name. The display name of the session is for the marketplace. So, what's the display name? Okay, maker log. Yeah, that is a, just a simple name. Okay, that's fine. The description.
let's see uh, the display name let me go to the product hunt first of all Okay, here is maker log, the task log that keeps you shipping every day. Yeah, that's a good uh, description. I also need to create an icon for the uh, other extension. The weather outside is not uh, very good. Uh, strong wind is blowing. Uh, I mean, not that strong. The mild wind is blowing. I'm afraid that uh, at, at any moment the power can be out. There can be a power outage. And I don't want that to happen. Let's give an offer to this product because I'm using the product and I like it very much. And obviously, we are also uh, building an extension for this product, so this product deserves an upvote. And by the way, guys, you should also uh, upvote this product if you really like it or you, if you use it you should uh, upload this product uh, we'll share the link with you and don't forget to give this product a try uh, i'm sure you will love this product okay let's copy this description we don't have a description for here we have okay that's nice what else do we need? We need cat 